The way Rat told it, she came in by helicopter along with the daily resupply shipment out of Chulai. She was 17 years old, fresh out of Cleveland Heights Senior High. She had long white legs and blue eyes and a complexion like strawberry ice cream. Very friendly, too. Mark! I can't believe that Mark flew me out from Cleveland Heights. Vietnam might be scary, but I feel so comforted by him. This trip should go well. The men genuinely liked her. Often, especially during the hot afternoons, she would spend time with the ARVNs out along the perimeter, picking up little phrases of Vietnamese, learning how to cook rice over a can of Sterno. So I heard the story about this guy the other day, guys. And he got shot. I guess it was so crazy. He was just like, boom, down, dead, like cement. Hey, can I sit with you guys? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm with the guys, I have so much fun. They laugh and joke, and I feel so lighthearted. This is so much better than all the schoolwork and responsibilities over in Cleveland Heights. love them. You know what? Forget forks. I'm one of the natives now. Wow, they're giving me attention. This feels so right. I should keep doing this. The war intrigued her. The land, too, in the mystery. At the beginning of the second week, she began pestering Mark Fossey to take her down to the village at the foot of the hill. She wanted to get a feel for how people lived, what the smells and customs were. All right, hon, so this is Nam. Down over there, we got a little village that we're going to let you take a look at. I'm cold. All right. Wow, these natives look amazingly like me. Maybe I am really a little native. Wait, that's Amanda and Lily. How unusual. Why are my friends here in Vietnam? What is going on? Is that a knife? She just killed her. What's happening? The bubbliness was gone. The nervous giggling, too. Her voice seemed to reorganize itself at a lower pitch. In the evenings, while the men played cards, she would sometimes fall into long, elastic silences, her eyes fixed on the dark, her arms folded, her foot tapping out a coded message against the floor. Twice, though, she came in late at night. Very late. And then finally, she did not come in at all. Marianne! Marianne! Oh my Dude. god! Oh my god, Marianne! Oh my god. Oh my god, come home, please! What are you doing here? Mary Ann? This is where I belong. I love it here. I'm not going home with Mark Fossey. I'm staying here and I'm becoming my true self.
I'm never going home. I need more. And then one morning, all alone, Marianne walked off into the mountains and did not come back. Running away right now, I've never felt more alive. The air coursing through my veins and the dirt and the death. I want it inside me so I can feel close to myself. Mark has said that I've become lost. But truly, I've been found in the land. I am the land. I am the war. My thirst for blood grows stronger and assures me of this. I need Vietnam. She had crossed to the other side. She was part of the land. She was dangerous. She was ready for the kill.